Hi everyone, welcome to yet another video for Philips Take On DDS CAD. Imagine that you would like to play with BIM, but the architect is still delivering the traditional DWG. It's not a problem. From the DWG, you can model the building in DDS CAD, and this is quite easy. But before viewing the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit the bell to be notified of the new videos. Enjoy! Before I started the building modeling, I would just address some important points. First, I have already inserted a DWG XREF in the model. And this DWG XREF has been inserted in the building discipline in the first floor. On the left, we see the floor plan, and on the right, we see the 3D view. Uh, second, some parts of the videos will become very repetitive. In this case, I will speed up. Okay, so let's start. First of all, um, for, for creating the, the building model in DDS CAD, we start by creating or defining the external at the external contour of the building envelope. And we do this using the function define area. So I will activate this function and then I will just contour the building envelope. So left click here and I will click in all edges. To close the contour, I could intersect the points or I can right mouse click and select the option close contour with a perpendicular corner. Next, I select a floor type and a ceiling type. And in a room dialog, I will select the mounting height. I select the height of the building. Now just click OK. OK, so it has been defined. Let's see the result in 3D. Now I will define the room areas. To do so, let's go to the floor plan and I will activate the define rooms function. There are different ways to define the room. First of all, I will start by the easiest way uh, when we have a DWG as a XREF. So I will right mouse click and I have the option of recognize room from DWG object. So I'll select this option. And if I right mouse click, we can see what type of recognition or what DDS card can recognize. So it can recognize the room inner outline, the doors, windows, room ID, and room description when we have it. So I will press escape. And if we get closer to a room, you can see that it show it, it, it recognizes the the edges so just left click and it creates the room it's quite good to be used when we have a rectangular area like this Okay, now I will press escape. Let's see the result in 3D. Yeah, so we, we were able to identify lots of rooms already. And for all the other rooms that it was not easily recognized, or if we have a not easy uh, geometry for, for the room, we can make other type of, uh, we can contour the, the inner area. So I will activate this function again. For instance, it was not easily identified, this room. So I can make a diagonal line. So I will deactivate the ortho with the shortcut F9. And I will click in these two corners and press Enter. And here it is. Let me see if there is, yeah, like this one.
Now we have two remaining rooms to be defined. They have a complex geometry, so it's not rectangular, we have more corners. So we can define the, the last complex manually and the last one, as, as you will see, it can be done automatically. So I will choose this one to, to, to manually contour. Okay, so now I only have this room remaining. I will move my cursor inside this room, right mouse click, and I have this option of auto-generate last room. So boom, it's done. So I have finished of defining the, the rooms in my model. Now next, we have windows and doors to be inserted. I will start by inserting the windows and we can use that function to recognize object from, from, DWG, uh, from DWG to automatically insert them. So I will activate the, this function, define rooms again, and I will activate this option, recognize room from DWG objects. And if I just move my cursor to, to the windows or to this um, geometry inside uh, uh, between the, the walls, they are highlighted and I just have to left click. No, so now I can speed up to insert all windows in the model. Okay, done, let's see the result in 3D. Very well, so we have now all over the building. Now, I don't like the, the, the height of these windows in this uh, restaurant or, or this big uh, room. So I will select one window and I will select all of them at once like this. And I can access the properties so that I can change the seal height to zero. And the height of these uh, of these windows will be 2.4. That looks much better. Okay. All right. So now I will show you a different way of inserting doors because it could also be inserted as I have done with the windows. But we have the function door, and with the, this function. Now, first, I will select the, the door type and I will start with the interior door, uh, single one, from the category doors, interior, and glass. So I'll click OK and I will have the option get with the from model activated. In this case, I just have to move the, the, the object to the start point of the door object or the symbol and I click again to give the width, like this. To swap the hint placement, I right mouse click and select this option, or I can use the shortcut shift tab. If I misclick at any time, I just have to press backspace. Now change the door type to, to swing. So properties, three dots button, and interior door to swing. All 
All right, done. Let's see the result in 3D. Here we go. Okay, so our modeling is done. But imagine if we just could copy this full modeling to another floor. We can just do it. So let's access the floor above, the second floor. So I will access the building function. I will select the first floor in which I have made the modeling, right mouse click and select the option copy room content from selected story to current. And boom, here it is. So we click OK and we see the result here. But we can also see the result of, uh, of the complete building. So I will come to this 3D of the first floor in which I have already this uh, setup. I'll come to the function important model manager, tab ghost story discipline, and I will select the these two ground floor and second floor, the ground floor I have previously defined. So I will activate the, the show column for both of them and click OK. And as a result, we can now see these three models together. If you like this video, share with your colleagues. If you have any suggestions or questions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!